Hi my dear boys, welcome back. It's me your Shravani Miss again and I'm expecting that all of you are very well and safe at your home by the grace of Almighty. Boys, today I am back to you with another more new topic that is past perfect tense. So from this topic, we are going to do definition, formation and examples. Boys, take out your necessary accessories because we are going to write lots of things and we are going to do lots of things and I hope you are going to enjoy this lecture. So boys, get ready for the class. Here you can see I have written past perfect tense shows action in the past that finished before another action in the past. So that means there will be two actions and in short uh, we call past of past to the past perfect tense. That means there will be two actions and one action will be happen before another action. Okay, so the clues are there will be two actions and the before or previous action is called past perfect tense and the later action is the past indefinite tense so boys past perfect tense shows action in the past that finished before another action in the past that indicates there will be two actions okay and the before or previous action is past perfect tense and the later action is the past indefinite tense so in the past when you are going to talk about two actions in the past you have to use past perfect tense okay so before action will be the past perfect tense and the later action will be the past indefinite tense so there will be a sequence of the actions okay after one action there will happen another action so the example is First one I have written, I washed the floor when the painter had gone. You can see there are two actions. First one is I washed the floor. Okay. When the painter had gone, this is another action and I washed the floor is another action. So there are two actions and which one is before? The painter had gone. This is the before action because after the painter's departure i washed the floor okay so the before action is called the past perfect tense and the later action is called the past indefinite tense so there will be always two sentences sorry there will be always two actions and first action that means before action will be the past perfect tense and the after action will be the past indefinite tense here the painter had gone this is before action i have told you and i washed the floor this is later action because after the departure of the painter i washed the floor i think it's clear okay number two after she had moved out i found her note so i found her note this is later action and after she had moved out this is the before action so as this is before action there will be the past perfect tense and as this is later action there will be the past indefinite tense okay then number three the patient had died before the doctor came so the doctor came later and before the doctor's coming the patient had died so the patient had died this is before action and the doctor came this is the later action okay the patient died after the doctor had come so here after uh, after the doctor had come the doctor had come this is the before action and the patient died this is the later action so boys when you are talking about two actions in one sentence and in past tense so you have to use the past perfect tense that means there will be two actions and one action will be related to the another action and there will be also sequence that means after one action you will want to know about another action okay there will be a sequence so when there will happen two actions in the past you have to use past perfect tense okay boys so i am expecting that you are going to learn the definition or also the examples now i am going to show you the difference between past indefinite and the past perfect tense boys actually in bangla you will be uh, it will be difficult to find out the difference because it is actually the same but there are 
uh, difference also. So in past indefinite tense, it shows only one completed action in the past. So you can see that there will be always one completed action. That means the action will be completed and there will be only one action. Example, I ate rice. Number two, I went to London. Number three, I reached home safely. You can see there are three sentences and both, uh, sorry, three of them are completed sentence. So I ate rice, it means you completed your eating rice. I went to London, this is also a completion verb. And I reached home, this is also a completed verb. So there will be only one action, okay, in past indefinite tense. But if you say I had eaten rice, it will not be correct because you have to use another action here for using past perfect tense. That means in past perfect tense, there will be always two actions. Okay. Now we are going for past perfect tense. It shows two actions in the past. You always have to remember it. Okay. Past perfect tense always shows two actions in the past. Between them, the previous action is past perfect tense and the later action is past indefinite tense. So, the examples are number one, I had eaten rice before he came. You can see boys, I have not written here, I had eaten rice only. I have added another action that is before he came. So, this is the past perfect tense and I had eaten rice is the past perfect and before he came. As there is came, you have to identify that this is the past indefinite tense. Okay, then number two, I had gone there before he left the place. So you can see there are also two actions. I had gone there is an, uh, one action and he left the place is another action. So the before action is the past perfect tense and the later action is the past indefinite tense. Number three. We reached the station after the train had left. So, we reached the station. This is the later action. And after the train had left, this is the before action. So, that means that after the train had left, uh, left we reached the station. Okay? The meaning is same. So, this is all about the difference between past indefinite tense and past perfect tense. I hope you are going to identify it now very clearly because in past indefinite tense there will be one action and in past perfect tense there will be two actions always and there will be a sequence between these actions that means after one action there will be happen another action okay so i hope you are going to learn it also now we are going to do how to form that means now we are in the topic of formation okay so in case of affirmative sentence, the structure will be subject plus had plus past participle plus object. This is very easy. There will be always had in the past perfect tense and there will be always past participle and then the object. So examples are she had completed her HW voice. You can see I have written here only one single sentence. This is for your better understanding because though I have written here only one sentence actually there will be another sentence that means she had completed her hw then there will be another action there will be a sequence of action okay though this is a single sentence but actually this is not a single uh, sentence there will be another action okay so examples is she had completed her hw i have written a single sentence for your better understanding because there will be subject then had then past participle, the past participle of complete is completed. Then her HW is the object here. Her HW, then the object, okay? Then number two, after Sophie had finished her work, she went to lunch. Now you can see I have written two actions. After Sophie had finished her work is an, uh, one action, then she went to lunch is another action. So the before action is the past perfect tense and the after action is the past indefinite tense. Okay, then number three, she had cooked some food. This is also another single sentence, but actually she had cooked some food and there will be some another actions. There will be some sequence of actions. I have written single sentences for your better understanding and to match the structure of the 
past perfect tense okay so she had cooked some food you uh, in your written uh, time you can't write she had cooked some food only you have to add some sentences for using past perfect tense and if you want to write only in past indefinite tense you will have to write she cooked some food you don't use uh, need to use had here okay so if you want to talk about only one action you will use the past indefinite tense and if you are going to use two or three actions in the past tense actually two actions you have to use the past perfect tense okay now you can see i have added a chart here that is conjugating the past perfect so here is the structure uh, examples according to the structure this is affirmative i had eaten rice so you can see with every subjects we use had okay i you he she we or they we use had then the past participle form of the verb then the object okay so this is single sentence but actually there will be some more sentences for maintaining the sequence of the past perfect tense okay now you are going to read it and learn it now negative sentence so in case of negative sentence you are going to follow this structure that is subject plus had plus not plus past participle plus object so the examples are he had not watched the cricket match on tv before you came you can see there are two actions first of all he had not watched the cricket match and the second one is before you came so there are two actions and the structure you are going to match so first of all there will be subject then had then not then the past participle form of the verb then the object so he had not watched the cricket match on tv okay then number two he had not practiced the song this is also a single action actually this is not single because there will be another action after that or there will be a sequence of action i have written this single sentence for your understanding okay so there will be subject then had plus not plus verb in the past participle form then the object okay then number three she had not bought a new umbrella this is also a single sentence so subject then had then not then the past participle form of the verb then the object okay so this is the example of negative sentence and here i have made or added a chart that is conjugating the past perfect so this is these examples are according to the structure that is i you he she we or they we use had then not then been so if you want to write i hadn't been that is also correct so you can use either i had not or i hadn't both are correct okay so this is the chart that i have made for you for your better learning so boys i hope you are going to learn it then the last one that is interrogative sentence in interrogative sentence you know we always bring the auxiliary verbs at the beginning of the sentence okay so had plus subject plus past participle plus object or had plus subject plus not plus past participle plus object so there is not because there is about negative interrogative and first one is the positive interrogative okay so there are some examples first one is had he opened the door when he, you knocked you can see there are two actions first one is had he opened the door and the second one is when you knocked so as this is there are two actions we are going to use here past perfect tense and as there is question mark you have to use the auxiliary verb that is had at the beginning of the sentence okay then number two had i not prepared enough for the exam so this is single sentence and there will be another sentence when you are going to write it okay i have written it only for your understanding that is there will be a auxiliary verb there will be an auxiliary verb had then the subject then not as this is a negative interrogative sentence then the past participle form of the verb that is prepared then enough then for the exam 
the number three had she quit her job before she married so you can see there are also two sentences two actions first one is had she quit her job and the second one is before she married so there are two actions the before action is the past perfect tense and the second action or later action is the past indefinite tense okay so this is the structure of interrogative sentence positive interrogative and negative interrogative you have to learn them okay now there is the conjugating the past perfect interrogative so there are the examples here you, you will have to use had then the subject then the past participle form of the verb then the object okay so this is the first action or before action of our sentence and there will be another action after that sentence that means in past perfect tense there will be always two actions okay you have to remember it when you are going to write past perfect tense you have to use two actions in the past and if you want to write only one action you are going to use past indefinite tense okay and in past perfect tense there will be two actions and one action will be before action and another action will be the later action okay now boys this is more examples for you in affirmative there there is written affirmative negative and interrogative so in affirmative you can write i had decided in negative i hadn't decided and interrogative had i decided so these are, are the same sentences like you had decided you hadn't decided had you decided so boys this structure is same i hope you are going to learn it and you have to write it down in your copy okay so boys today we only we have only read the definitions examples and also the formation and i think it's enough for you today because you have to learn it well and you have to write it down in your copy cw copy okay so i am going to say a big thank you to all of you for watching my video and boys those who have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it because you know i am going to upload my previous videos in this channel so i think you will be notified if you subscribe it okay so boys that's all for today stay safe and healthy and pray to almighty so that we can meet again Okay, boys, thank you so much.